Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. We're starting a new project today. Come on inside and see. You can see we've got a new piece of plywood here. We have a new project coming up. This is a charge station here built out of three quarter inch plywood that uh, we're going to be building shortly uh, to get everything all together. Uh, I'm going to be putting a French cleat on the back of it so that I can move it around to wherever we need it. Uh, I also have something else that I'm going to do with it because we're going to be bringing this to the back of the property so that we can charge our drills, but we should have a solar panel and a battery to be able to charge these while we're uh, three quarters of a mile away from anything. <music> The first piece we're going to cut is the back and it's going to be at 18 inches and this will give me enough room to get clearance uh, because my board is actually hitting the wall. Uh, so we'll cut this one at 18. Is long two these would be for the sides and these should be 12 by 12 one more 12 inches long I'm gonna put it out here at this time Now we're going to cut two or three pieces out of this guy that is uh, 18 inches long. This one here is 11 and a quarter. Make sure it's lined up against the fence. You want to have a square cut. four at three and a half. Try mounting this block. Right here, so that I have to cut four of these pieces and they should all be exactly the same length. I don't even have to measure anymore. You don't want to knock it. Just put it up against there slowly. out for the bottom and this will be at 18 inches of length. and that's all my pieces that I need okay so the next step is that we're going to take all these pieces uh, and glue them together and uh, we'll put in some one and a half inch screws uh, just to keep it all tight 
Before we glue and screw this together, we're gonna test fit it, make sure that everything is where it should be, and then we'll take it apart, apply glue, and then put it back together again. I'm not going to put any screws in this because we're just test fitting it. The nice side up. couple screws in here on the bottom just to pull that in. Make sure that one right marks. And then we have one more shelf to go in here. Well, that's kind of it. There's my place for extra batteries to go. Now what I'm gonna do on the bottom here is I'm gonna cut this out, make sure that these are all screwed in on the bottom and then cut out the grooves here with using my jigsaw, maybe my, uh, my circular saw. And that way it will have support. It'll have lots of support down here in the bottom, which I've noticed that a lot of other ones uh, don't have. So I'll uh, get some wood glue I'll put that all together. I'll put in the rest of my screws here. Uh, like I say, right now it's just together so that uh, we can make sure that it's all fitted. And then the last piece will be that I need to put on a two by two on the bottom and then a French plate here that I'm gonna take a two by six, rip it at a 45 degree angle in the middle. And so that way I can hang it. It'll, it'll hang on the wall and uh, I can move it. Well, that's it for this video today, guys. Hopefully you found this little project useful. Uh, hope I gave all the right measurements for you that you could make your own. Uh, it's not really uh, that intensive, um, but it's going to be a useful project. I'm gonna put all my power supplies up top, uh, put my batteries, uh, any spare batteries in here, and I'll be able to uh, put the drills in here for support after I cut out uh, each size um, and the reason I didn't uh, just uh, make them just a, a uniform size is because all these heads are different and I want them to fit in there nice so that's it for now hopefully you found it useful if you did like the video and especially comment on it uh, leave some tips and tricks uh, down below for me uh, let me know if you're gonna make one of these projects as well all right guys until the next one Keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.